Mythical demons are supernatural beings often depicted as malevolent entities in various cultural and religious traditions. Keep watching this video up to the end to get every information clear. These entities possess a wide range of attributes, from grotesque physical forms to seductive allure, and they typically exert influence over aspects of human existence, including temptation, suffering, and spiritual warfare. While the concept of demons varies across cultures, there are common themes that unite them, such as their association with chaos, darkness, and the subversion of divine order. This study aims to explore the multifaceted nature of mythical demons within the framework of mythology and theology. By examining the origins, manifestations and interpretations of demons across different cultural and religious contexts, this research seeks to elucidate the symbolic significance of these beings and their enduring relevance in the human psyche. Through an interdisciplinary approach, drawing from anthropology, psychology, religious studies and cultural analysis, this study endeavors to provide a comprehensive understanding of mythical demons and their impact on human belief systems and cultural practices. Origins of Mythical Demons The origins of mythical demons can be traced back to prehistoric belief systems characterized by animism, the notion that all natural phenomena, including animals, plants and natural forces, possess spiritual essence or consciousness. In animistic societies, supernatural entities often inhabited the natural world, embodying both benevolent and malevolent qualities. These early conceptions laid the foundation for later mythologies and religions, shaping the ways in which humans conceptualize and interact with the spiritual realm. Ancient Mesopotamian demons, Apsu, Tiamat, and Pazuzu. In ancient Mesopotamian mythology, demons occupied a prominent place in the pantheon of deities and supernatural beings. The Babylonian creation myth, Enuma Elish, depicts the primordial chaos as personified entities such as Apsu, the freshwater god, and Tiamat, the saltwater goddess, whose union gives birth to the first generation of gods. However, Apsu and Tiamat later become associated with chaos and destruction, leading to their defeat by the younger gods. Among the most famous Mesopotamian demons is Pazuzu, the king of the demons of the wind. Pazuzu was believed to bring storms, droughts and other calamities, but he also served as a protective deity, warding off malevolent spirits and diseases. His image, often depicted as a fearsome winged demon with the head of a lion and the body of a man, adorned amulets and other protective objects in ancient Mesopotamia. Egyptian demons, Apep, Set, and Amit. In ancient Egyptian mythology, demons were seen as adversaries of the gods and obstacles to order and harmony. Among the most notorious Egyptian demons is Apep, the serpent deity associated with chaos and darkness. Apep was believed to reside in the underworld and to threaten the sun, god Ra, during his nightly journey through the underworld. Rituals and prayers were conducted to ward off Apep's malevolent influence and ensure the sun's safe passage. Another significant demon in Egyptian mythology is Set, the god of chaos, desert, storms and foreigners. Set was often depicted as a mysterious creature with the head of an unknown animal, representing the untamed forces of nature and the dangers lurking beyond the civilized world. Despite being demonized in later periods, Set was originally worshipped as a protective deity, particularly in the desert regions of Egypt. Amit, the devourer of the dead, was a fearsome demon depicted as a composite creature with the head of a crocodile, the body of a lion, and the hindquarters of a hippopotamus. Amit was believed to dwell in the Hall of Ma'at, where the hearts of the deceased were weighed against the fether of truth during the judgment of the deed. If the heart was found to be heavier than the fether due to the individual's sins, Amit would devour it 
condemning the soul to eternal oblivion, Greek and Roman daimons, Eros, Hades, and Lamia. In ancient Greek and Roman mythology, demons were often referred to as daimons, supernatural beings that mediated between gods and humans. While some daimons were benevolent spirits associated with specific aspects of nature or human endeavors, others were malevolent entities capable of causing harm and mischief. Eros, the Greek god of love and desire, was sometimes depicted as a mischievous demon who incited romantic passion and irrational behavior in mortals. His Roman counterpart, Cupid, was similarly portrayed as a winged cherub armed with a bow and arrows, symbolizing the capricious nature of love and desire. Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, was often viewed as a dark and ominous figure associated with death, decay, and the afterlife. While not inherently malevolent, Hades represented the inevitability of mortality and the mysteries of the underworld, inspiring both fear and reverence among the ancient Greeks. Lamia was a female demon from Greek mythology who was said to prey on children and young men, seducing them with her beauty before devouring their flesh or draining their life force. Originally a queen of Libya, Lamia was transformed into a monster by the vengeful goddess Hera after her children were slain by Zeus. Lamia's legend served as a cautionary tale against the dangers of unchecked desire and the consequences of defying the gods. Norse mythology, Loki and Fenrir. In Norse mythology, demons were often depicted as chaotic forces opposed to the order and stability maintained by the gods. Among the most notorious Norse demons is Loki, the trickster god and agent of chaos who frequently caused trouble for the gods and mankind alike. Loki was responsible for a host of misfortunes, including the death of the beloved god Baldr and the onset of Ragnarok, the cataclysmic battle that heralded the end of the world. Fenrir, the monstrous wolf and offspring of the god Loki, was prophesied to bring about the destruction of the gods during Ragnarok. To prevent this dire fate, the gods bound Fenrir with magical chains, but the wolf eventually broke free and wreaked havoc upon the world. Fenrir's rampage symbolized the primal forces of chaos and destruction that threatened to undo the cosmic order established by the gods. Demonology in Abrahamic traditions, Judeo-Christian demons, Satan, Lilith, and Asmodeus. In Judeo-Christian theology, demons are often associated with fallen angels who rebelled against God and were cast out of heaven. Chief among these fallen angels is Satan, also known as the Devil or Lucifer, who embodies the archetype of evil and temptation. According to Christian doctrine, Satan is the adversary of God and humanity, seeking to lead souls astray and thwart the divine plan. Lilith is a figure from Jewish folklore who is often depicted as a demonic seductress and the first wife of Adam. According to some legends, Lilith refused to submit to Adam and was subsequently banished from the Garden of Eden, whereupon she became a demon who preyed upon pregnant women and infants. Lilith's rebellion against patriarchal authority and her association with female sexuality have made her a potent symbol of feminine power and autonomy in contemporary feminist discourse. Asmodeus is a demon mentioned in the apocryphal Book of Tobit, where he is depicted as a malevolent spirit who kills seven of Sarah's husbands on their wedding nights. Asmodeus is often portrayed as a demon of lust and perversion, tempting humans to indulge in sinful pleasures and leading them down the path of damnation. Despite his wicked nature, Asmodeus is sometimes invoked in magical rituals for purposes of protection or revenge. Islamic Jinn, Shaitan, and Ifrit. In Islamic theology, demons are known as Jinn, supernatural beings created from smokeless fire who possess free will and the ability to interact with the physical world. While some Jinn are benevolent or neutral towards humans, Others are malevolent entities known as shayatin or shaitans. 
who seek to lead humans astray and disrupt the divine order. Iblis, also known as Shaitan, is the chief among the Shaitans and the Islamic equivalent of Satan. According to Islamic tradition, Iblis refused to bow to Adam upon Allah's command and was cast out of heaven as a result. He vowed to lead humanity astray until the day of judgment, tempting them with worldly desires and leading them away from the path of righteousness. Ifrits are powerful and malevolent jinn who often appear in folklore and mythology as fearsome creatures capable of wreaking havoc upon humans. Ifrits are associated with fire and are said to inhabit desolate places such as ruins, caves and abandoned dwellings. While some Ifrits may be coerced into serving humans through magical rituals, they are inherently unpredictable and dangerous beings. Zoroastrian influence, Angra Mainyu and Ahriman. In Zoroastrianism, one of the world's oldest monotheistic religions, demons are personifications of evil and chaos who oppose the forces of goodness and order. Angra Mainyu, also known as Ahriman, is the embodiment of destructive spirit and the eternal adversary of Ahura Mazda, the supreme god of Zoroastrianism. Angra Mainyu seeks to corrupt and destroy the creation of Ahura Mazda, sowing discord and suffering throughout the world. Cultural and symbolic interpretations, psychological perspectives, Carl Jung and the shadow archetype. From a psychological perspective, mythical demons can be understood as manifestations of the unconscious mind, representing suppressed desires, fears, and unresolved conflicts. Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung theorized the existence of the shadow archetype, the dark and primitive aspects of the psyche that are often repressed or denied by the conscious ego. Jung argued that confronting and integrating the shadow is essential for psychological wholeness and individuation. Mythical demons, with their menacing visages and malevolent intentions, serve as symbolic projections of the shadow, embodying the aspects of ourselves that we find threatening or repulsive. By externalizing these inner demons, individuals are able to confront and reckon with their own inner darkness, ultimately achieving a greater sense of self-awareness and personal transformation. Socio-cultural contexts, demons in folklore and literature, Throughout history, demons have figured prominently in folklore, literature, and popular culture, serving as potent symbols of danger, temptation, and supernatural forces. In European folklore, demons such as vampires, werewolves, and witches were believed to roam the earth, preying upon unsuspecting victims and spreading fear and chaos. Literary works such as Dante's Inferno Milton's Paradise Lost and Goethe's Faust have explored the themes of sin, damnation and the struggle between good and evil through the lens of demonic imagery. These works have had a profound influence on Western culture and have shaped the way in which demons are perceived and interpreted in modern society. Demons as allegory, temptation, sin and redemption in religious and philosophical traditions, demons often serve as allegorical figures representing the inner and outer obstacles that humans must overcome in their quest for spiritual enlightenment and moral virtue. The temptation of Adam and Eve by the serpent in the Garden of Eden, for example, symbolizes humanity's susceptibility to sin and the consequences of disobedience to divine law. Similarly, the concept of demonic possession has been interpreted metaphorically as the domination of the soul by negative emotions, destructive habits or external influences that obstruct the individual's spiritual growth and moral development. Exorcism rituals, whether performed ceremonially or metaphorically, are seen as symbolic acts of purgation and liberation from demonic influence enabling the individual to reclaim their autonomy and integrity. Theological implications, 
Theodicy and the Problem of Evil The existence of mythical demons raises profound theological questions regarding the nature of evil, suffering, and divine providence. Theodicy, the philosophical inquiry into the justification of God's goodness and omnipotence in the face of evil and suffering, grapples with the problem of how a benevolent and all-powerful deity could allow the existence of malevolent forces, such as demons. Various religious traditions offer different explanations for the origin and purpose of evil, ranging from dualistic cosmologies that posit a cosmic struggle between good and evil to monotheistic perspectives that view evil as a privation or distortion of the good. The odysseys such as free will, soul-making, and eschatological redemption seek to reconcile the existence of evil with the overarching benevolence and sovereignty of God, offering hope and consolation in the face of suffering and adversity. Contemporary Folklore and Urban Legends In contemporary culture, demons continue to exert a powerful hold on the human imagination, manifesting in urban legends, paranormal phenomena, and supernatural narratives. The proliferation of ghost stories, demonic possession accounts, and occult-themed media reflects society's enduring fascination with the supernatural and the unknown. Urban legends such as the Slender Man and the Black-Eyed Children have become modern folk tales, spreading virally through the internet and inspiring fear and speculation among believers and skeptics alike. These narratives tap into primal fears and anxieties, reflecting societal concerns about technology, globalization, and the erosion of traditional belief systems, pop culture representations, demons in film, television, and gaming. Demons have long been a staple of popular culture, appearing in countless films, television shows, and video games as antagonistic forces to be vanquished by heroes and protagonists. From classic horror movies such as The Exorcist and Rosemary's Baby to contemporary supernatural thrillers like The Conjuring and Paranormal Activity, demons continue to terrify and captivate audiences with their malevolent presence and otherworldly powers. Video games such as Doom, Diablo and Dark Souls offer immersive experiences in which players battle hordes of demonic creatures in epic struggles of good versus evil. These games allow players to assume the role of a heroic protagonist or anti-heroic figure, confronting their inner demons and external adversaries in virtual worlds filled with danger, mystery and moral ambiguity. New Age Beliefs and Demonology In New Age spirituality and occult traditions, demons are often reinterpreted as metaphysical entities or psychic phenomena rather than literal beings. New Age practitioners may invoke demons or dark entities as archetypal symbols of transformation or as catalysts for spiritual growth and enlightenment. Practices such as ceremonial magic, ritual invocation, and astral projection are employed to commune with demons and harness their occult powers for personal or collective purposes. While some New Age beliefs embrace the concept of demonic entities as manifestations of cosmic energy or subconscious forces, others reject the notion of evil entirely preferring to focus on positive thinking, self-empowerment, and holistic healing. The eclectic nature of New Age spirituality allows for a wide range of interpretations and practices, from traditional occultism to contemporary metaphysics, reflecting the diversity and fluidity of human spirituality in the modern world. Psychological and Therapeutic Approaches to Demon Encounters in psychological and therapeutic contexts, experiences of encountering demons or demonic forces are often interpreted as manifestations of psychological distress, trauma, or altered states of consciousness. Psychiatric conditions such as schizophrenia, dissociative identity disorder, and sleep paralysis may give rise to hallucinations, delusions, 
or nightmares involving demonic imagery or themes. Therapeutic interventions such as cognitive behavioral therapy, trauma-focused therapy, and mindfulness-based techniques are used to help individuals cope with and overcome their experiences of encountering demons or demonic influences. By exploring the underlying psychological dynamics and belief systems that contribute to their experiences, individuals can gain insight into their fears, anxieties, and unresolved conflicts, empowering them to reclaim agency and resilience in the face of adversity. Demonology and Ethics, Moral Implications, Demonization and Othering The demonization of individuals or groups based on perceived differences or deviations from social norms has profound moral and ethical implications, contributing to prejudice, discrimination and violence. The tendency to scapegoat or otherize marginalized individuals as demonic or monstrous reinforces existing power structures and perpetuates social injustices, leading to systemic oppression and dehumanization. Ethical frameworks such as empathy, compassion and social justice call for the recognition of shared humanity and the rejection of demonizing rhetoric and behavior. By cultivating empathy and understanding towards others, individuals can counteract the dehumanizing effects of demonization and promote solidarity, inclusion, and mutual respect in diverse communities. Religious Perspectives on Exorcism and Spiritual Warfare In religious traditions that believe in the reality of demonic possession and spiritual warfare, Exorcism rituals are performed to expel demons from afflicted individuals and restore them to spiritual wholeness. These rituals may involve prayers, incantations, sacred objects, and the invocation of divine authority to confront and banish demonic forces. Ethical considerations arise in the practice of exorcism, particularly regarding issues of consent, coercion, and mental health. The use of force or manipulation to compel individuals to undergo exorcism without their informed consent can violate their autonomy and dignity, exacerbating their psychological distress and undermining their right to self-determination. Ethical considerations in paranormal research. The study of demons and paranormal phenomena raises ethical questions regarding research methods, participant welfare, and the dissemination of findings. Paranormal investigators and researchers must adhere to ethical guideliners that prioritize the well-being and safety of participants, respect cultural and religious beliefs, and maintain scientific integrity and objectivity. Issues such as informed consent, confidentiality, and the potential for harm require careful consideration in paranormal research, particularly when investigating sensitive or potentially traumatic experiences involving demons or supernatural entities. Researchers must approach their work with humility, empathy and open-minded skepticism, acknowledging the limitations of human knowledge and the complexity of the phenomena under investigation. Demonology and mental health psychiatric versus spiritual explanations. In cases where individuals report experiences of encountering demons or demonic entities, mental health professionals must assess whether these experiences are best understood within a psychiatric framework or a spiritual religious context. Differential diagnosis and comprehensive assessment are essential to determine whether the individual's symptoms are indicative of psychiatric disorders, substance abuse, or spiritual crises. Cultural competence and sensitivity are paramount when working with clients who hold beliefs about demons or supernatural forces that may differ from mainstream psychiatric perspectives. Mental health professionals must respect the client's cultural and religious beliefs while providing evidence-based interventions that address their psychological needs and promote recovery and well-being. Conclusion Recapitulation of Key Findings 
the exploration of mythical demons within the framework of mythology and theology reveals the complex and multifaceted nature of these beings which have captured the human imagination for millennia. From ancient Mesopotamian demons to Judeo-Christian Satan, demons have served as potent symbols of chaos, temptation, and existential dread, reflecting humanity's deepest fears, desires, and struggles. Reflections on the enduring fascination with mythical demons the enduring fascination with mythical demons reflects humanity's ongoing quest to understand the nature of good and evil, the mysteries of the cosmos and the human condition itself. Whether viewed as supernatural beings, psychological archetypes or allegorical symbols, demons continue to captivate and intrigue us, challenging us to confront our own inner darkness and transcendence. Future Directions for Research and Dialogue As our understanding of mythical demons evolves, future research and dialogue may explore interdisciplinary approaches that bridge the gaps between mythology, psychology, theology, and cultural studies. By engaging with diverse perspectives and methodologies, Scholars and practitioners can deepen our understanding of demons and their significance in human belief systems and cultural practices, illuminating the ways in which these beings continue to shape and enrich the human experience. In conclusion, the study of mythical demons offers a window into the collective imagination of humanity, revealing the enduring power of myth and symbolism to illuminate the deepest mysteries of existence. By exploring the origins, manifestations, and interpretations of demons across cultures and epochs, we gain insight into the human condition and the perennial quest for meaning, transcendence, and redemption in a world haunted by the specter of darkness and the promise of light.